Hey legends, I hope that you're all well. And you probably noticed today, uh, being isolation day number 20, that I look a little bit rough. And because I've lost it in isolation, I'm wearing my Joe Exotic t-shirt because I am the holder of a tiger such as Bella. Anyway, this video, I'm hoping it's gonna be really quick. Uh, hopefully it's like five minutes or under. It's just gonna be running through uh, the equipment and what I use in my podcast uh, and how I made so many mistakes that cost me thousands of dollars on the other end that of now gear I don't use. Uh, so hopefully this will help you get started and sort of professional level audio or the sort of quality you want to be at, I think, uh, for a podcast in a market that's becoming uh, more and more involved in the community. Pay rate. Yeah. There's two things as a firefighter. A when I, the, those small offerings from significant people in my life as I've gone along and, and how much they meant to me. And so we're in my actual studio, which hopefully you can notice and hear the sound quality just from the acoustics of this room uh, with all this foam on the walls is uh, a lot, a lot better. That is one of the things I think that cheaply you can do a lot. Look on eBay, you don't need that professional shit that's like $100 a square meter. You can get such cheap stuff, but just go for the thicker possible. So I've gone after uh, three inch wedges and they're significantly better than this sort of one inch, almost packing foam. So I don't run professional equipment at all, I guess. My computer is a cheap Microsoft Surface, you know, maybe $1,400, a lot less than that now. And one of the things which is fucking expensive, but worth its weight in gold, and I've tried with another audio board and just don't bother with anything else, uh, is the Rodecaster Pro. This is made for podcast recording. Um, you'll see other audio compressors, other audio boards, whatever, Yamaha ones were thousands, hundreds, whatever. I've got another Yamaha one, and it's made for recording audio, but that's everything from guitars, pianos, voice, everything. This isn't for that, it is for podcasting. Uh, the best thing in this is you plug a micro SD card in the back, you click record, and it records directly to that. Uh, so if you're live streaming or you're recording straight onto your computer, you can double back it up. So you've got the audio recording to the deck, and it to your computer or live or whatever you do. It's the best thing ever. Also, uh, I try and stick, well now, try and stick with Rode equipment as much as I can. This isn't an ad, I've got no sponsors, nothing. But Rode is Australian made and it sits at that price point which is affordable yet still good. So it's that couple hundred dollars per microphone. Plus, because they're everywhere, especially in Australia, you can get them secondhand. All three of my Rode uh, NT1 Alpha microphones are all secondhand. Uh, and they work absolutely brilliant. It may look a bit like a mess in here when you look around, but you've got to remember whatever sits within the frame needs to look good. So if it's framed like this, all you'll see is this, the wedging, these jerseys uh, of some cyclists I've got, this flag and some guns, whatever. So it's framed up nicely. You don't need to worry about it. all the other shit on this side of the room that you would have seen as we walked in isn't in frame. So that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's ugly. This is one of the big reasons I say to stick with road equipment. So if we turn this on, the Rodecaster will fire up. And all we have to do is there's three microphones around here. Is just select what it is, microphone, and then these are NT1 alphas. You pick that, and it optimizes everything directly for you. You hit record. These are all customizable of you can put any sound that you want on them. Uh, my intro is on that one. And then the music is this. And then I just fade it straight out with that. And then we just start talking shit. These are all your headphone controls. So one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, all plug in the back. Uh, they have both the 3.5 mil and uh, the larger sort of professional mount. Uh, I sometimes let whoever they can adjust whatever they want, but it's simple as all these, it'll do whatever it wants for you. You have massive effects, levels, everything you need is straight in there. You can see it all very clear, recorded to it. I truly think everything in this studio is secondhand except for that board on my computer. But all the microphones are, actually no, the leads to the microphones are uh, brand new as well. But I bought um, the mics on either Gumtree or like cash converters and the boom arms uh, were cashies as well, all three. Um, the boom arms, fantastic. You know, you can, it comes in front of you, people can move it wherever they want. Uh, and also the sort of foam that goes over the mic, you can get a wind guard, like a windshield um, that stops like the, the p -p -p noise or that's coming through really strongly in your microphone. Problem is I live stream and video most of mine. They are a lot better than, than these foam covers that go on the mic, but 
it also covers a lot more of your face, more if you're like singing. And if it was just audio, you'd use that. A few things I've learned is don't assume that whoever you're podcasting has done this before or knows anything about microphones. They don't need to. Microphone, this pops off. On all Rode microphones, there's a gold stamp on the front. That gold stamp means talk in this way. That goes on. You know, it's in this. Boom arm to yourself. I'm very low here. But you want this as close as you possibly can. That will give you the best audio for a deck like this. These are condenser microphones. These are not as uh, sensitive to sound as, say, you like your Blue Yeti big like USB ones. You can't be that far from them and maintain that quality. The closer, the better. But make sure you're both um, <clears throat> as close as possible. And or if they're not, you can then change their levels on here. But the closer, the better. So I mentioned that also video my podcast. I have a cheap uh, lighting tripod here, the Logitech uh, C290 or whatever the fuck, C920 is sitting on. Uh, I also have another one in here uh, that I can just pull out and stick on uh, my bigger tripod. This camera goes on or another one if I need. Uh, another couple of pairs of headphones, uh, another audio leads, whatever you need. Normally it's just two in here or most of the time it's just me recording things. Um, but look, making shit actually, so you fucking know where it is. So I got these stands from Bunnings um, instead of like a cabinet. It's just an industrial thing. I just sit whatever I need on my cameras, all my stuff. Um, as well as setting up your backgrounds. I like to have, you know, that as almost like a little booth, uh, people surrounded by the phone. Not only um, does it increase your sound audio quality so fucking much, it also, for the person coming on, the people viewing it, looks a lot more professional. It, it, it makes it seem like you know what you're doing. Or if you're like me and you have fucking no idea, it's bullshit baffles brains. This big wooden Australian flag, just like Joe Rogan's American flag, uh, that is on rollers. That's actually uh, the same as that flag over there is also, is also on rollers. They are clothing stands. Uh, and I wheel them in and out as I need. And I normally wheel the biggest Australian flag behind me and the Australian flag uh, behind the other person. Especially if it's a veteran, I'll have uh, the camouflage Aussie flag. Also, this is a very, very cheap lighting box, like $20 off eBay, just to pump some extra lighting in. Uh, the light in here, which is just one of those like normal light globes, but it is the same colour as the light globe up there. You want those really white lights, uh, especially using those cheaper Logitech cameras. The whiter light, the easier it will be to change its white balance and its contrast and brightness for you. Most importantly, I uh, have some beers there uh, for you and the guest. You can see why mine are all drained. And have some sort of notepad as well um, that you can actually take notes on going throughout because they might be talking about something that you want to then uh, talk about. So a lot of these is just full of my bullshit notes uh, from podcasts. Uh, so I'm really hoping that you'll notice a big difference in how my voice sounds on here. Uh, this is through the Roadcaster Pro. All I've had to do is click record straight to the micro USB uh, and that at some point either at the start of your conversation which I forgot before I started doing this or at the end you can add a clap in if you're using a camera um, that is, and you're doing it all differently. But I don't even, my computer's not even on. It's just straight to that. So when I did my podcast, like say with um, Charlie Teo or a few other external ones, like with Mark Doreen in Tasmania, all I took was two microphones, the Rodecaster Pro, and that was in. Sat in a room, didn't need my computer, didn't need to fuck around with anything else. I plug it in, turn the power on, micro USB in it. Good thing is GoPros, most phones have micro USB. So if you've forgotten you, you fucking SD card or whatever you need, it's 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 there. You don't need fucking around. It goes straight to your computer, whatever you need, and Rode continually update this thing. I'm a, and I know I go on about it a lot, but I've got another Yamaha, um, like an MGX10 USB, and that is just shit compared to it, and it's, it's probably the same price. Um, so that's my biggest tip is just stay simple. You can podcast on USB mics, anything you really want, but uh, the easiest way to do it, honestly, for... <laughs> incredible sound uh, is really good um, foam acoustic deadening um, or you know or at least making a fucking effort um, good microphones just don't go over the top you're not singing you're not Katy Perry you're not Adele um, but decent condensing microphones Rodecaster Pro on boom arms reasonable uh, headphones but it's just because you want them to be comfortable make the room comfortable make it look a little bit professional and then go from there. If you want to add video, we can go over that and something later. Um, but as far as the audio, this is realistically at home. I think this is the bare minimum standard. If you're going to make a podcast to then monetize or, you know, you're, if you're going to the effort to find people um, 
to, to come on this to travel with you. I personally, I know I would feel a little bit ripped off if I travelled to someone or, you know, someone putting out content of mine that wasn't made an effort to be very good quality. I know this costs a lot of money, but I reckon this whole setup, everything I've got here as far as sound, audio equipment, second hand you could do for about a $1,000. Um, and this is a, and that's a three-person podcast setup. Um I know road do kits uh, that are about that for four for, for people. So have a look at that. If you've got any questions, please let me know. I hope this wasn't too long. Um, and I really do appreciate it, guys. Um, I hope you're all keeping well in isolation. You're keeping to, um, to you know, what you're restricted to. Uh, and I hope you're all having a lovely, safe day. Uh, so look after yourself, guys. And if you want to check out my podcast, it's called The Willie Show. It's on Spotify, iTunes, whatever, um, but also on YouTube and you can watch it all as well. Okay, thank you, legends. See ya. One thing I forgot to add, the easiest people to podcast are people who have written like a memoir or a book. So Dan Pronk, he wrote a book called The Average 70 Kilogram Dickhead, one of my favorite books ever. I read that book through the week and then I interviewed him on a interview podcast with him on a Friday. I think one of the most important things with a podcast is it's not an interview. You're there to have a chat. You know, you're not 60 minutes. You're there to have a chat, make them feel comfortable. You know, you need to push it if you want to get something, but it's also you're not there to trip them up. You're not there to fuck them. Um, you're there to have you know, a chat together and bring the good qualities in this person and yourself um, to the screen. But doing something with a book, I couldn't recommend it more. I know I talk a lot of shit and I, I've struggled with so many people to keep that conversation going. Also, I have a massive, massive problem with editing podcasts. I don't believe anyone should edit a podcast. Who are you to say that you get to edit what their answer was, uh, what they said, what they didn't say, whatever? I, I don't think you have that right Um or at least I don't believe that, because you can change the whole way someone sounds, what they say, anything. It's easy to do. People add pauses in conversation for effect, up and downs for effect, to make themselves... Uh, it's like adding a comma. Um, you could say, um, let's, let's eat grandma. But if you add a comma in, let's eat grandma. They're completely different fucking sentences. So I think long form is long form. You want to be aiming as, as really as long as you can with that person before it gets dry because hour-long podcasts really actually annoy me because I drive, it's 36 minutes to work and back for me. Well, 30, 36 back. And now it doesn't really fill it out. I like those two three-hour ones. Um, and also, if their story is three hours, keep it going. I recently did a podcast where uh, I just got started and it got to 45 minutes, which was short. It was interviewing me and it was, yep, yeah, let's end it there. I don't want to go 45 minutes. I'm like, man, I have like four hours of stuff to talk about. We haven't even started. Um, and if you are concerned about those massive upload times, do what I did with Dan Pronk's episode, which was three and a half hours, and break it into two or three, um, part one, part two, part three. Uh, so that may keep people uh, more involved. But long form is long form. It's not a song. Make it long. Get what you need out there said. Um, take notes when you need. Take a piss when you need. Um, but otherwise, if any of you guys have a podcast, please link it below. I'm always looking for new ones. Uh, isolation on board as fuck and I'm working out a lot more than usual so that's what I like to listen to and I want to hear my way you guys okay thank you dude sorry about my rant I just had to add this in